Hello fellas, it's me again. It's been a while since I've uploaded anything, never mind. Today it's just a quick uh, equipment inspection and uh, what we've got here is a Thorn DFLD 400 high pack. It's a high bay lighting unit for 400 watt metal halide lamps. Let's have a closer look shall we. The Thorn high pack series of luminaires were designed in the early 1970s. They were designed to be easy to install and also highly resistant to the harsh conditions found in factories such as corrosive gases, vibration, heat, dust etc. You can see from the placard there it's rated at IP22 and can function in an ambient temperature of 45 degrees Celsius. The green box in front of you houses the power factor correction capacitor, the igniter for the lamp and also the terminal connection point. Moving down a bit we can see the ballast which is a sealed unit and the anodized and chemically oh, tongueful there, chemically brightened spun aluminium reflector. Let's have a quicker look inside there. Eh? Let's have a look inside the igniter box. Oops. Screwdriver is slightly too big for this. Never mind. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Zoom in a bit. How's the focus? The igniter is on the top, and the bottom bit is the power factor correction capacitor. Let's have a look at the shade now. There's a view of the reflector from underneath, as it would be mounted in service. Visible is the 400 watt metal halide lamp. It's a clear elliptical thorn unit. I'll show you a close up of that in a minute. It's worth noting that this lantern was available in both 250 watt mercury, metal halide, and high pressure sodium. Now, the 250 and 400 watt lamps are different sized, and to achieve the best optical performance, the lamp holder can be shimmed so that the different types of lamps are correctly positioned in the focal point which is quite a neat design moving on there's a close up of the lamp ignore the lazy band as you stop it from rolling around it's a Thorn 400 watt MBI slash BU MBI means metal halide BU means base up operation it's just a way it's been optimised you can see the resistor for the auxiliary electrode used for starting and the bimetallic switch which is here when the lamp warms up that opens and disconnects the starting electrode to stop the electrolysis forming between it moving on now we all want to see it fire up I've put a different lamp in there this one's rated for horizontal burning so I'll fire it up and kill the lights and we can watch usually takes about three to four minutes to fire up fast forward if you're bored Let's adjust the exposure a bit. The reflector is actually really, really good at uh, focusing the light downwards. Not only the light, but the heat as well. You put your hand in front of that at full power, you can feel it. Oh, where's my sunglasses? I think I might cut this and just skip to full power. There we go, after about five minutes, we're now at full power. Total system power is 460 watts, that's including the ballast loss. And it is silly bright, I can't look anywhere near it. It's, ah, oh, that's bright. You can imagine uh, a whole warehouse full of these, it'd be well illuminated, put it that way. Thanks for watching. Hope it's not been too boring.